Fan crew is here. Uh, how do you know this man? He's my dad. Incredible stuff. It takes a lot more to impress uh, the best daughters around this part. Yeah, that's right. Go down all the way to the east side. Congratulations, guys. Everyone wants to see you come in. We're going to be in a purple pack. Clippings in every single cafe. All right, another go, bro. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Got to go for it. We're getting a lot of blue sky on there. Not a recovery, mate. Here we go, here we go. Teenage Mutant Ninja Purple. Oh, he's got Teenage Mutant Ninja Fantastic. No, nah, that's the first run. We did a skin and a bungee and we have a great time. Now we want to eat the watermelon. One hot sea one home in the Yoshi. Chow cool to the end. Did the the first year it was smaller and I did every single event Iron Woman, Bungee, Pip Spitting, Melon Skiing, the whole shebang and I've been coming back ever since for it. Yes, it's all about the start. You have to keep your melons moving because otherwise you're stuck to the, the runway a little bit. So when they pull, you just tip over forward and end up getting a lot of melon in the face. Pretty unique, nothing like water skiing or snow skiing. Uh, about the best way I could describe it is uh, maybe tie a pig to each foot and try and hold on. So uh, they seem to get a mind of their own when you're shooting down the ski slope flat out and slipping and sliding everywhere. And the extra weight of the, the melon on each foot makes it a little bit difficult too. So you start getting, hold your knees close, duck down, and go, go, go. Anyone can have a go, but you've got to remember some of the melons are up to 18 kilos, so you've got to have. Uh, pretty strong legs and knees to be able to hold them together and not do yourself some mischief by the time you scoot down to the other end. But. I started picking melons when I was 12 years old and I've done it every year since. Um, 
there and most of the time I love it. When the money's no good and things are tough, you hate it, but um, on the whole, yeah, no, we love growing watermelons. A couple of fellow growers went over to the States and seen the concept and come back in 94, we're in a pretty big drought here and we decided to put it on to lift the spirits and, um, and away we went. You wouldn't believe it, the first melon festival got rained out. So uh, it's been a good omen for the district ever since. After the second festival, we're all sitting around uh, a few beers trying to work out what we could do to get better and better events and melon skiing come up. Somebody come up with a crazy idea about it and away we went. And it's been, um, it's been the highlight of the melon festival ever since. <laughs> so good. Oh, fun, mate. Most fun you can have with your clothes on here in Chichilla this weekend. You got starts through the week, you got the bowls, the big nights Friday night, the beach party, the rodeo, then down here today, it goes all day and wraps up tomorrow afternoon. And yeah, big party tonight. Yeah, it's great economic boost for the town, so it is. the biggest is, you just keep bringing them out. Here's a good one. 63.5. It's pretty hot out there. 